I'm going to teach you how to create beautiful organized task and to-do lists like this just using your voice, so not using any typing at all. And I'm going to show you how to customize the format to match whatever you want. So here I've got mine done by project. Here's another one where I've organized them into key takeaways and action items. But we're going to use AI both to transcribe the audio memo and then to organize these into the nice, good-looking list that you see here. So let's get started. So we're going to first start by taking an audio memo, and we're going to use Reflex Voice Transcriber for that. Now, if you're using a tool besides Reflex that doesn't have a voice transcriber built in, there is a tool that I've got installed here at the top called Super Whisper. You can check that out, and it will allow you to transcribe your voice, and it just adds it to your clipboard, so you can paste it in any place or application you want. But Reflect has this nice audio memo integration here on their desktop app. It's also got it on their mobile app if you would rather take it on your mobile. That's actually usually where I do my audio notes. And taking the voice memo is really nice because you can do it in the morning when you're making breakfast or your coffee while you're on a commute on your way to work. And you can kind of make use of that time you otherwise wouldn't. So to record here, it's really easy. You're just going to click on this microphone on the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just record a brief note about my day ahead, including kind of the themes and what I need to get done across all of my different projects. So let's give it a whirl. All right, today I don't have any meetings, so it is going to be a focus day. I need to start off by outlining the weekly growth document with updated numbers. I then need to plan out the YouTube video I'm going to record. I need to actually record the video, I need to edit the video, and then I need to publish the YouTube video. Oh, and I also need to take a thumbnail photo for the YouTube upload. After that, I need to do another test send of our new white glove onboarding campaign. It went pretty well yesterday, but I want to do another one today just to make sure that I have enough responses in. And finally, I need to finish the influencer list of productivity influencers that I'm going to reach out to tomorrow. All right, so it's going to take a couple minutes to transcribe there. I think that was maybe like a, a minute long voice memo. So I'll wait for those to transcribe and come back here when it is posted. All right, here we go. We have our audio memo. So this is just a block of text. It's not particularly useful in our notes, so we're going to organize it. And to organize it, we are going to use AI. Now again, I'm going to be using AI within Reflect. If you are not a Reflect user, you can use ChatGPT for this. You're just going to have to prompt it manually. But what I'm going to do is select this text and pull up our AI editor. And I'm going to list the, I'm going to have it do key takeaways and action items. Now, this is a custom prompt I've built. so. Let's expand it, and while that runs, let's kind of look at what's happening in here. So I'm instructing it to act as an executive assistant and create two separate lists, the key takeaways and the action items. And I've basically instructed it here to uh, be a specific, be as explicit as possible, and I've given it some formatting instructions. So it's going to take my audio note and it's going to format it into these lists. Uh, as always, I will do my best to include the custom prompt in the description of this video. If I forget, just comment and uh, I'll add it when someone reminds me, as usually happens. Okay, cool. So here we can see the prompt that actually run here, ran here, but it still kind of kept the markdown formatting, so I'm going to uh, click replace. And here we go. Now we have this nice, beautiful, uh, organized list here. So I've got my key takeaways at the top. Um, it says meeting because I also use this as a meeting executive assistant, but I could just have it say key takeaways. And then it's got the action items listed here down below, everything from my voice note. And it's going to list it under the audio memo still, so I kind of like to just take that and clear it out. And then it's allowed nice and organized. So. You could uh, organize and format this however you want, give it any title, and then when you collapse this, uh, it just keeps it nice and clean in your notes. All right, cool. So let me do one more example here. And for this one, I'm going to uh, take an audio note for all of my tasks list, task lists across multiple projects. So I've got my growth work for Reflect. I've got my side project uh, startup cookie agency that I work on, 
And I always like to have a personal to-do list for things like grocery shopping or doing laundry and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a voice note where I kind of explicitly line out the to-do list. And again, this is something that I do actually do every morning while I'm making my breakfast and coffee. So let's give it a whirl. I'll try not to make this one too long. All right, this is a audio memo on the task lists that I need to do for each of my projects. So for Reflect, I need to get caught up on all of my messages, including Discord, email, and any Twitter DMs that we got. I need to plan out the YouTube video I'm gonna record today. I need to actually record that video. And then I need to edit it and upload it and publish it to YouTube. Other things for Reflect that I need to do, I need to finish the influencer list before I reach out to them tomorrow. And I need to send out another test of the white glove onboarding campaign that I did yesterday. So I'm going to send out the same thing I did yesterday and just make sure that we get enough responses to be uh, statistically significant. All right, next project, then my task lists for startup cookie. I need to figure out a new email provider since the old one started glitching too hard to work. I need to have a follow up email with the new client to give them some pricing info for the custom plan they asked for. I need to finish the website copy for the real estate website. And finally, I need to find a list of growth and marketing podcasts and newsletters that I might be able to appear on. And finally, my third category for personal to-do list items, I need to go grocery shopping today, I need to do my laundry, and I need to vacuum the floor. All right, that was a little longer than I expected, but again, I'll let that process. It will appear here in just a minute and I'll come back here when it does. Perfect, here we go. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to select this and pull up our AI prompt and I've also got a custom one for this. So uh, I'm gonna search the word project because it says list action items for each project. I'm gonna run it, but again, while it's running that, let me go ahead and expand this and we can kind of examine what's happening here. So again, I have instructed it that I have a given it a voice note and uh, three projects here. So I've got Reflect, Startup Cookie, and Personal. And in each list here, you can see that I've just outlined each one. But I've done one extra step, which is to add a backlink to each project. And that means that when I run this prompt, Startup Cookie here, Reflect, and Personal will all be backlinked so that it keeps my notes nice and organized in the network note-taking format, and I know that these action items are connected to that. So this is actually a pretty simple prompt, um, but it's very clever and it works very, very well. So um, before I run it, I'll mention one more thing here. If you're not yet familiar with Reflex custom prompts, you can always pull up any prompt, click clone, and then edit it like this and save it, and you can save any custom prompt you want. So. We've got a YouTube video on that that I will include in the description of this as well. But for this, let's go ahead and have it replace. Uh, oops, didn't like that. So I'll have to run that again because I clicked out of it. All right, so there you can see it runs. It usually does this pretty quickly, but if you have a longer format, it might just take uh, a minute or two or probably not a minute or two. I can't imagine it would take that long. You'd have to have a really, really long format. So it'll probably just take like, I don't know, 15 or 20 seconds. Now I can replace it in there. And there's one step for the backlinking. Um, Akavu on our team's actually working on a fix for this, but for right now, you'll just have to do a little click on the side of this to turn it into the backlink. Just one click on each, there you go. And again, I usually take out the audio memo tag after I replace it here. And now we have a nice to-do list for each of our projects. And if I click on the backlink here, you can see that these also appear in the incoming backlinks, which is why it's nice to backlink it. So you can do any format here you want. Um, you'll probably want to tweak it to your own personal preferences, but if you're someone who's working on different projects, I think that this format of dividing to-do list items into different projects is great. If you want to, as a last step, you can go in here and start sorting them by priorities uh, so that you know the top priorities are on the top. So fit it into however your workflow works best, but 
definitely set up your own custom prompts. It makes taking audio to-do lists very easy. So highly recommend you do this in Reflect because it has both the Whisper voice transcriber and the AI palette editor. But if you're using something like Apple Notes or, whoops, or Evernote, you can um, do this all using Super Whisper, which has a free plan. Uh, you can just Google that and uh, I'll include a link in the description as well. And you can use ChatGPT for the prompts. It'll just be a little bit manual. You'll have to do some copying and pasting. But whatever system works for you, definitely give this a try for your to-do list. It will start your morning off much better, I promise.